Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to play Haven Hotel Tier 6 Infestation Quest. After you start the quest, you go through this door. Now I'm gonna clear the first area. I woke that guy up. Ouch. Not a smooth start, isn't it? Mister. Oops. Okay, now. Let's go clear the area. Next, we're going to clear the lobby area. First up, some zombies behind the counter. I can't one-shot the dude because we play in high difficulty. Okay, this work. <laughs> you can check my server setting in the description below. If you play in lower difficulty, it should be smooth sailing for you. Now I'm going to clear the zombies on the lobby floor. Okay, we're done. Now we're going to clear the zombie that's not on the lobby floor, but yep, elsewhere. If you play a run and gun, this zombie will wake up and run to you. Um. Okay, I missed that. No. Never mind. Now let me. Get this guy down from the elevator. Well, he ate a lot of bullets, wasn't he? Now you too. After you're done, we move on to this dining area. Well, you clear this area as the way you see fit. Now that is clear, we move on to this kitchen. This is the way I do to block the trigger spawn. Because we will trigger the fire hazard around there. Next, I'm going to clear all the zombie on this floor. The way forward will be blocked by the fire, so you will need to backtrack to this room to turn off the wall. And now you can go to the next area. The door on the left will all be locked, so you don't have to worry about it. Turn right and clear this restroom. Both of them. Next area will be trigger spawn. So I'm gonna use this as my defense. If you play in lower difficulty, you might not have to upgrade it to cobblestone. And I forgot to put down my turret. For lower difficulty, I think the wood block might be suffice. 
for the defense. You can go to the left to loot things. But I'm gonna move on to the next area. Usually I put down this building block in order to like make a little barrier to slow down some zombies. It's quite nice when you play in nightmare speed. You can sneak attack zombies with knife still. If they are sleeper zombies, you can get really close. Next we use this free next use this switch and go to the outside area. We will clear the tent first. And then outside of the tent. <laughs> now, after this area is clear, we will need to go down to the pool area. They have a lot of zombies, so be careful. My usual way, usually, I'm just gonna climb through this wall to get to that side first. Now I'm going to clear the pool. And then some zombies behind this counter. Let me grab my arrow back. After you don't clear this area, we will move on to that area. There will be some red dot above, but I'm not gonna worry about it now. There will be some zombies spawn under there. Yep, and today is this guy. Very tough one, huh? Now, for running gun, be careful of these dogs. Usually, they're already awake and run to you. There'll be four dogs for tier six quest. Okay. I'm gonna ignore all those red dots above for now. If they run down to you, it's okay too. You just clear all of them for running gun build. But for stealth build, it's quite difficult to get all the red dots that spawn on the roof or in all the floor to come down to you. So, we will deal with that later. I'm gonna clear this side first. Blow up. Now I'm gonna clear zombies around this area. And there's some loot on the table. Um, we move on to the this side and clear some doggo here. Okay, before I move forward, I'm gonna try to get these birds, these vultures to come down to me first. Because the way forward you will end up at the second floor and it might have a too little area for you to play around without getting damage from the bird. Okay, we clear the birds. Now we go in to the building again through this way please don't be it yep it's him again <laughs> usually they will spawn 
biker green biker for me for some reason in this area what are you okay mister <laughs> is he he's not attacking weird Okay, he definitely malfunction. Let let's just put him out of his misery. Done. Took a lot of time to deal with this kind of zombie in insane difficulty. Yep. And you should clear this area. Now you should end up in this stair and there will be zombies above you there will be no zombie on the bottom floor you don't have to go down there unless you want to loot something you just need to go up after we clear the stair we will move on you should end up here. Usually I'm gonna block there. Because sometimes the zombies in there is really sensitive and just run out. Yep. Why you wake up but him not waking up, mister? Okay. Turn on this switch and you should end up at this balcony. If you didn't kill the but before they should just fly out to you at this moment. Here there's another burp and that's a zombies. But since I play stealth build, I will deal with it later. If you play a run and gun, they all should be aggro and come down to you, so be careful about it. Moving on. Let's clear this room. Sorry, mister. Not, not actually sorry, but yeah. The next area is this one. That one is only have one loot in it. And the two room. I'm gonna show you. This is not the way to go, but it has a pop and peels box there the way forward is this room but push further and clear this room first before you move on a lot of soldier now go back to this room and yep clear the zombie inside you should end up here No zombies. Is that a screamer? I don't think it's screamer. Ignoring the three dots above because we will go to it later. It's the zombie that I ignore at the balcony. Now this is the trigger. <laughs> Behind the elevator. Finally, now there will be another elevator trigger, so be careful about it. But this one is gonna be a bit more tough because you might aggro more than one zombie. Okay, I think we clear a bit. Now you move to this area forward a bit, you will trigger that elevator. And they might. Think, yep. They might drag more of the zombies from another room or from above. So be careful about it. I think someone 
Someone is eating something. Oh. You stuck? Okay. Now clear this floor. Still ignore that three dots. Don't forget to clear this area. Before moving up to the next floor. Okay, this area is clear. I'm going up to the next floor. Done. There will be some ammo loot at this side. And then you go back to this way. That elevator will not be a trigger anymore. Yep. But be careful about zombies around you. Sometimes there will be zombie in there. But not today. Okay. Clear this room. And this is the way forward. <laughs> now you should end up at this room and the way forward is out the balcony. I blocked that door because this is a trigger. Yep. And now we can really move on. Next. <laughs> the building block is really useful for me. <laughs> You should end up here and we will continue to clear zombie dead. This one is locked. Yep. <laughs> okay. We are done. You should end up in this room and we will go through this hole on the wall. Zombies will be above you immediately. If you run and gun, they will drop to you. And the way forward is for you to go up and jump through that gap. But I have a park house skill. It it just the low roof is really killing me. So I usually just pull myself up. Okay. I think he ran to the right side. They will have some zombies immediately spawn above your head. Yeah. Then he go to the right side. Yes, we done. And let's clear this area. All the red dot in your compass. Oh, he's still not dead. Don't forget to clear this. You can shoot this block from the inside. You can't shoot uh, from the opposite side, by the way. Done. Now, we're going to move on. You see the four dot that's birds, vultures. If you run a gun, they already come down to you. But I'm gonna... I'm gonna clear them later. Because we will go there. So this floor, you will have a bar. And sometimes, some zombie will wake up. It's like a... For me personally, I feel like it's a random. 
random sleeper spawn that they will wake up some of them usually one not more than one it's like a element of surprise but yeah so you actually cannot expect them all to be a sleeper zombie that is like sleeping all the time sometimes Now we're going to clear this restroom. And you should end up outside again. I'm gonna start clearing that first. Okay. Let's continue. zombies on this level first before we're going back to the birds hello people done before i go forward i will backtrack to this area first um, I don't like to go through the ladder because it make my animation go from crouching to standing. But yeah, let's go up and clear the wall show if you didn't aggro them yet. If you already clear them, they will already fly to you, it's fine. They always already been gone. And now this will be the zombie that's supposed to spawn and drop on you. You need to go closer a bit for them to fade into existence. <laughs> After you clear all of this, um, now we don't have any zombies that we need to remember of clearing anymore. We just move forward to this area. Trigger spawn. Okay, now we should end up here and let's clear this room first. And you will need to move through this bank and go to this area. And that one. You should end up at this hallway and there will be a lot of zombies in these two rooms. Someone is already wake up. Yep. It's like a random that guy. He's not even feral. He's in the restroom far away, but he woke up. But this guy is not wake up. So yeah. I think it's like a random thing rather than inconsistency. Doctor. And let's clear this room. Wow, biker. Sorry for littering. Okay, here we go. Next one. Oh, lucky. Oh, that's not lucky. Please don't blow up. Okay. 
Now let's clear this room. No, miss. Oi. You miss, miss. Another one, last one. So I put a block here because it will be another trigger at that area. And I usually just jump on that block and hide. Running away. <laughs> Stop, please. Thank you. So the room on the right will have no zombie inside, but you can go in to look around. Yep, the way forward is to this door. Oh my, woke someone up. So spider zombies. Hello? Now we're going to go downstairs. He's not waking up yet. Never mind, he's not wake up anymore then. The way forward is this way. Now you end up in this area. There will be a lot of zombies around, so be careful about it. I'm gonna leave that guy. I usually clear the police zombie. The last because I might need to shoot him up. Okay. The way forward is here. zombies and we're gonna move on inside this room you should end up in the restroom and climb up this rope and we're going to drop you should end up in here and be careful of some zombies behind those blocks Next one is this one. Okay, this room can have two zombies. The one that spawned there or the one that can drop from here. Be careful. I got the radiated biker one from that. Scary. Now we move on. Activate the key rack and clear this room. Bar. We act the last four, but it's not near the end yet. We going for it, but we getting there. If you end up here, destroy this block and clear some zombies behind it. Why is always ready at popo? Please don't blow up, thank you. Moving on, let me loot first. We still have some zombies to clear. Oh, it's those people. It's one bulb. One by one. Oh my god, took a long time for that guy. This one? Spider. Let's continue. You go up this ladder. And then you drop. 
If you run a gun, I hope you didn't get a really tough zombie in that restroom. And then you clear another restroom. Done. Continue to this area. The room behind you will have nothing, so I'm gonna ignore that. And just clear these people. Usually they're like um four or five janitor above there. So yep, clear all of them. Is it clear? Now we're going to the shower room. Is there anyone? No one. They're all in this room. Why are you guys in the woman's room? Huh? Oh, are you a woman behind those marks? One more? Oops. Okay. Now that we clear, um, I'm going to make, I'm going to make some defense here. And I'm going to block this door. Is this a trigger? And it's quite tough for me in instant difficulty, so I'm upgraded to couple stone. There's no one in the sauna on the right, so I'm gonna ignore that. Don't blow up. Thank you. Okay. Now, if you move into here, you will trigger something. Try to block. Never mind. Never mind. Let's go back. This area. Let's start shooting. And the guy outside coming in. Ouch. I think we okay. Now we moving to the last area. It's not actually officially last, but yeah. Like a big spawn of zombies in this area. I'm gonna clear all of those first. Yep. Ready the tourist zombies. Sometimes one, sometimes two of them will spawn inside the pool. Oh, oops, please don't hit me. Lucky. Another one. Now we're going to clear this area. I woke someone up from far away. But these people didn't wake up. Some zombie has like a Lower threshold to wake them up than some, I guess. It's like a random thing. Now let's clear this room. It's the loot room. Let's loot. room for real and if you didn't miss any zombies it should have that yellow dot just one at that area I'm gonna clear that first okay 
only one. Only one. And congratulations, you just finished the basic infestation quest, but there's hidden one more zombies in here. So let's just clear him. If you go into this area through the switch, you can loot this am uh, munition box. And the dude is like a, a trigger spawn we drop from here, but I'm in the stealth mode, so I'm too quiet to s to just aggro him. So let's let's just walk around. Yep, there you go. And that's it. You actually really clear this POI. Now loot all you want. And once you're done, you go out of this POI through this exit door and just circle around to the left to go back to your vehicle. And that's it for Heaven Hotel. I quite like this POI, even though it has a lot of trickle spawn, but it's really nice POI to explore. Okay, and see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. Thank you for watching this video everyone. Hope you all have a good day. I will see you in the next one. Stay safe out there. Bye bye.